our today's topic is paleontology as a science and in which we will be discussing paleontology today we know the importance of paleontology and how it has contributed in the different fields of life so we will be discussing today that how the paleontology has affected our ideas of dinosaurs and fossil humans and what has it provided about the evidence of earlier life how it has contributed in the understanding of macro evolution and how today's paleontological research is going on so we will be discussing all these ideas one by one today we know that dinosaurs were present earlier in our on our earth the dinosaurs were the reptiles which were present in the early historic periods and we know this because of the paleontology we were able to identify their fossils on the or on their remains on the surface or between the layers of the earth and what we know today is due to that knowledge in the 19th century the paleontology was established as a science and it helped us identify the missing links between the different organisms when darwin gave the idea that one species is evolving to, into another that means the scientists speculated that today's birds have evolved from the earlier dinosaurs now you would ask that how the dinosaurs has changed into the birds there must be in between there must be some organism they those must be in between those two species so scientists found uh, an organism which we call as archaeopteryx archaeopteryx was an organism that was containing the characteristics of both reptiles as well as the birds and it was predicted by the darwin 2 years before it was discovered in germany and so is the a case of human being as well right so some people believe that the humans are formed in as a perfect life form but they also have evolved throughout the time and we have found the incomplete remains of neanderthal man in 1860 56 so that means there are some missing links which are provided by the uh, modern paleontology and here in this uh, page you can see the picture of archaeopteryx and when we see a fossil which contains an impression of an organism you can see this picture this picture is not a complete organism but impression of a uh, an organism between the layer of the earth so we call that as lithographica litho stands for the stone and graphica means impression so lithographica means stone impression this is the specimen which is displayed at the museum for naturkunde in the berlin right so this is uh, taken from the berlin now we have the evidence of the earlier life right so how do we know that life started in its earliest forms earliest organisms that were formed very beginning in the beginning of the earth's history they were not containing any bones they were not hard bodied organisms they were soft bodied organisms and we know that in the crucial situations on the earth it is very very difficult to uh, a fossil to form and even if it is formed the soft bodied organisms cannot form their fossils so we have extraordinary progress in understanding the earliest stages in the evolution of life through the advent of the electron microscopy and various other uh, techniques we can see the earliest life form microbial life even and the fossils of microbial life we can see the cambrian fossils cambrian is a, an era in our geological history and we can also see the precambrian forest as those were first soft bodies um, edicarian fossils were found in the australia in 1947 so all of these fossils gave us a, a window to the evidence of earliest life and now 
the macro evolution, wherever the word macro comes, that means big. So macro evolution, that means evol study of evolution, not on the species scale, not on the lifetime of a species scale, but the whole evolution of a uh, whole species, evolution of whole planet that comes under the macro evolution. Right. So in that we see that what are the different rates of evolution between the species, what is the nature of speciation, how the new species form and what is the timing and extent of mass extinction. We know that there were some big extinctions in the life of earth and how did that happen? Uh, what were those? We know that through the paleontology and we study that in the macro evolution and diversification of life. We know that the life was unified uh, life was formed from the uniform or uh, from the simple organism and how those simple organism evolved into different species that is called diversification of life and how did it happen we know through the paleontology and then there are other topics which in, uh, involve the long time scale for example tecton uh, tectonology in which we study that how the different uh, continents form, right? So how different plates of the earth go away from each other and how the species on each of these continents evolve, right? For example, the kangaroo is present in the Australia and it has evolved independently in Australia. How did it happen? That we study in the macroevolution. And then we study the paleontological research, right? So the paleontological research, how it is happening today. Uh, paleontological research is done by the professional, which are paid, and by the amateur enthusiast. The professionals are working in the laboratory, they are working on the microscope, they are, you know, breaking their neck on the microscopes, they are studying every piece of uh, evidence they can find about the studies they are doing. And also there are amateur enthusiasts which are working in the field and they are working to uh, bring on the new ideas and somehow very good ideas are taken by the amateur enthusiasts they, and they, uh, they discover things sometimes. And how all of this uh, paleontological work is going on in the field through different collaborations, right? For example, if we study the dinosaurs, we know that uh, how they look right now because the graphic designers can tell us that how an organism will look like, right? So we can see their animations. And also there are some mechanical engineers who can study the muscles and bones of those organisms and can tell us that how those organisms walked on the earth, how the dinosaurs walk. Right, so all of these things, they can happen through the collaborations and paleontolo uh, paleontology research is today, is very uh, on, on an advanced level of research and it tells us about the dis different aspects of the life on the earth.